welcome back to another video. Um, so today we are going to candle the duck eggs that we started in the incubator uh, about a week ago. I think today is their eighth day or so. Um, and I candled them last night and I did about five of them. I candled five out of the twelve that are in the incubator and all of them had veining and then they had a little tiny blob in there with a little teeny tiny dark spot which is uh, I believe the development of the eye meaning that there is a chicken there so um, at least five out of the twelve are good to go but so we are going to open up the incubator briefly and pick out a little eggy wiggy and then we're going to come over here I'm going to try to set this up so it, um, so you guys can see. Now this is a, an empty shelf, and, uh, it should be dark enough that we can see the, uh, egg, inside the egg when we put the flashlight in it. Here's a, uh, an old toilet paper roll. You set the egg on top of it like that, and then the round end goes down and the pointy end goes up, or at least that's how I like to do it. And then I hold it like this, and hold on to the egg carefully so it doesn't fall out. You turn on your flashlight, and then you put it in the bottom of the roll like that. And now we'll have to turn the egg a little bit, be very careful. And it's not very dark in here. Let's see if I can get back here. So I don't know if, you, if this is not going to be a very good video. Alright. So, if you look really carefully. I'm going to try to do this real quick. I'm going to try to darken it a little bit here. If I can. There we go. So we're going to do this. Alright. So if you look really carefully, you can see veins. Um, right here in this whole area down here. There we go. So you can see the veins like that. This right here is not a vein. That's where my X is. Right, right back there. That's the X. And then this blob right here that my finger is right over. That right there is where the chick is. So you don't want to do this too much. Because having them out of the incubator uh, for too long isn't really great at, uh, great for them at this stage. But I wanted to show you guys that we are getting somewhere and that we are developing some little ticks. So he's cooling down a little bit, so it's time for him to go back in the incubator now. So let me go ahead and open this up again. And we'll gently set him in there. That. So he's back in there. Close it up again, and we're good to go. So, um, I've been keeping my humidity in the low to mid 60s, so between 60 and 65, 68, right around there. Yes, that's high, but I like to do that. Um, um, I like to go on the higher end of things as opposed to the lower end of things, but. Um, I've heard that you can actually get too much humidity in the egg and get too much moisture in the egg and supposedly you can drown the chick that way. I've never had that happen, I've never seen that happen, but I like to do my humidity on the higher end of things. And the temperature has been around 99, which has been working out really good. So cross your fingers. We're one week in and we have about three more weeks to go, so um I may come back next week and uh, do another candling video for you guys so you can we can uh, check on the progress and everything like that but after that that'll be just about it until they hatch if I if I do another duck one next week so um, I've also I am part of a Facebook group about um, it's all about call ducks and there are people who post things about, you know, they're hatching their ducks and they'll have questions and things like that. And one of the questions that I read yesterday on that Facebook page was, um, 
to dry hatch or to not dry hatch. Meaning when you have your eggs in an incubator, should you add water or should you not add water? And I always add water because I think humidity is important to uh, soften that shell and get it uh, the correct consistency for the chick to be able to hatch out. I have never done a dry hatch or a hatch uh, without water. So I just don't think that's safe. I think it's too big of a risk to losing your chicks because they can't hatch. So, yeah, so that's where I stand with that. I, I just thought that was an interesting question that they asked because I've always done it with water, but um, to keep that humidity up. So, anyway, that is this duck video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I really enjoy looking in there every now and then and seeing those little little babies get bigger and growing and it's really really exciting so and for right now I'm only turning them twice a day I'm turning them in the morning and at night and they seem to be doing just fine so we will come back later and keep you guys posted all right thanks for watching and please like share and subscribe